Let me explain something to you. What I'm trying to show you now is that people don't just approach you randomly as a woman. So in the realm of the spirit, everybody gives off a scent, a fragrance. This fragrance cannot be perceived with, of course, with your physical nose. So when you live a righteous life, in the realm of the spirit, you are giving off holy fragrance. You smell like holiness. When you live in sin, you smell like death. And this fragrance is an attractive fragrance. So as a woman, when you step out of your house, depending on how you have been living your life, you are, you are, you are spreading a fragrance. And it's this fragrance that, that will determine the kind of men that, that approach you. So when you live in sin, you sing to this, sing tomorrow, sing to this, sing tomorrow, sing to this, sing tomorrow, you come out with the aroma of death. That's what Apostle Paul is saying. So when you come out with this aroma of sin, it will attract godless men. That's why you go around saying, oh, everybody that is toasting me is a liar, is a cheat, is a thief. You too, you are a liar, you are a cheater, you are a thief. What's the difference between you and them? You're complaining, all the men has come. Everybody, nobody fears God. You, do you fear God? You are fornicating now. Fornicating with your last boyfriend. Is it because, is it because, what, what, you think fornication is not a sin? You are also a liar. You are wicked. You revenge. You gossip. You slander people. Everything that is godless, you collect bribe. So you smell like sin. So when you come out, all these sinners, you will be shocked. All this, every man that will come, they will not, they will just, you will just be, this one is a liar. This one is a cheat. Men has come. This one wants to touch me. This one wants to sleep. <laughs> See, 